I'm always clumsy. Ow! Oh. It's only a matter of time now. It's video. How's your head now? Is it under a five? Oh, yeah. Under a four? We've made our constructed our own refrigerator. Since this is the air conditioning unit, this is the coffee creamer right here. And we have our butters. And they are staying quite cold. <laughs> yeah, as cold as the refrigerator at the very least. So we made our own own refrigerator since Oh yeah, I was doing photographs of your feet and I forgot the booties. I left them uncovered. I let your booty machine is cycling just fine. That's my job is the booties. They put me in charge of the uh, good care of, of these booties. So, that's what I'm relegated to. It's an important job, though. You know, blood clot control? That's me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the ice man. I'm also the booty man. That kind of booty. <laughs> Not the kind of booty that some people would think. And you're the catcher uh, of the ice cream. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. <laughs> well, our sense of humor is getting a little better. This morning was rather rough around the edges, so... I am kind of glad that our sense of humor is getting a little better. Oh, yeah, me too. I had no sense of humor when I woke up this morning. Me neither. It was a bad morning. Okay, thank you. I love you. Bye. These are, these are some beautiful flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're gorgeous. They are. How's your pain? Is it working? Uh -huh. My pain. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Knock on wood. Okay. Let's see if we can keep it like that. Yep. And keep it like that, we can blow this popsicle stand. Yep. You don't look terrible. I don't feel terrible. It's not really funny, I guess, but. Um, Sharon was in the hospital so long from the complications that the doctor took her staples out today and he's sending her home finally because they finally got her pain under control thanks to her magnificent pain doctor. So we'll go home and hopefully we'll stay home. Yep. We have no intentions to do anything different. Right. So what do you have to say, lady? flying the coop. I'm glad to be flying this coop, even gladder than the last time. Well, yeah, I'm flying the coop. I'm so grateful. Yeah, I'm very grateful about flying this coop. Got our bags packed. We're packed and ready for the ride. From the sweetest lady in the world. It's that thing from last Friday, take two. Tomorrow is Friday again. Is tomorrow Friday again? No, tomorrow's Thursday. Tom tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday, so it's um, almost a week since the first blew the coop. Right. So I think today we were both just panicked that they weren't going to 
come up with a, a way to get her out of here. You know, there's cooties here, you know. And I was just freaking out after a while because, you know, there's only so much exposure to those cooties that you can take. And that's what the neurosurgeon said when he came in. We, we want you in your own environment, resting in your own bed, you know, not near all of the germs. Right, any more, and there's potential I could get blood clots or pneumonia or some other air-carried virus thing. Yeah, and or mistakes, you know? Right, right. So. Too many hands in the soup pot. That's what happened with the with that medication I changed on when I came in on the ER. Too many hands in the soup. That's what happened. And you know, sometimes sometimes it's it's a one butt kitchen, you know? Exactly. Sometimes it can't be because you got I mean she was admitted by a doctor at the hospital, so Come in. there's the ride, there's the sweetest lady in the world. We are ready to go home. Here she comes again. This is take two. She got released on Friday and had to come back in an ambulance. So here, this one's this one's for real, okay? Yeah. Yes. Thanks for everything. Remember the Hopefully everything OT's goes great. I have faith it will. Okay. Switch back. <laughs> Your cart is in that waiting room. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got Sharon home tonight from the hospital, and I got her in the house, and we almost had to turn around and go back to the ER because it looked like the, the part of her neck right here had opened up because the scab got bumped, but as it turned out, the skin had he healed out of place so that one side was sticking up quite far, and the scab fell off that part, so it was bleeding. It looked like it, it was just coming right apart, and it freaked us both out. We packed up. We were ready to call another ambulance. It was like a bad dream, but then there's a lot about this that is like a bad dream, so I'm going to go in there and lay down and try and go to sleep for the... I think I had one hour of sleep at nine out of the last ten days. One night I had four, and the other nights I've had one, so that's it. I'm done. Thanks a lot for, for everything.